Good morning, I'm Kaylin Lomano, your culture reporter in Lafayette Parish. And if you recognize this big comic sign, then you may know that the name on this sign recently changed. Let's take a look inside to see what else may have changed. The original owners of Acadiana Comics and Books, Jerry and Teresa Moran, opened the Johnston Street shop back in the 80s. About five years ago, Jerry passed, but his wife continued running the business until recently when she decided to retire and handed it down to some of her regulars. Me and my brothers would come here. My mom would bring us originally. We got all our comics from her and we would come up every week and pick up our new comics for the week. Strong says over the years, they would help Moran out in the shop here and there, as well as running their own online comic store. So when Moran decided to retire, handing the shop over to them seemed to be an easy choice. She said that she has a lot of customers that she loves, and this is where they get their comics and have been for over 30 years. <clears throat> and she didn't want to let them down. And she wanted some people that she knew that could take over keep it going, maybe even do better than she did, is what she said, and, uh, and still be nice. And it seems the Strongs are doing all they can to meet those expectations. They have filled the shop with shelves and baskets of comics, books, toys, collectibles, and more. When she, we took over, we had a lot of inventory that we were storing that we were able to bring in here. And as you can see, really fill up every nook and cranny. While keeping certain traditions that Moran started, such as the discounted grab bags, giveaway raffles, and the shop's participation in free comic book day, they are working to expand the shop. Still adding, still trying to, to grow. We may end up taking one of the other spots in this building just to give us more room. 38 years and counting, the sign's legacy it lives on. Now a stronghold comics and collectibles of Acadiana. In Lafayette Parish, I'm Kaylin Lamano, your culture reporter, KATC TV3.